Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about membership conditions. So let's talk about in operator. This is the syntax. It's column name in in the brackets you provide all the values. So all the records will uh, where the value in this particular column is any of these values will be displayed to the screen. Similarly, we have a not in operator. This is the syntax column name not in in the brackets you provide all the values so all those records where the value in this particular column is anything other than these values will be displayed to the screen okay so let's do some examples let's go to our express edition oracle express edition login Hassan Mir that's my username so I'm going to go to SQL, SQL commands. Okay, let's see what we have. I think we created a table called employee in the last tutorial. Okay, so this, this is what we have. So let's say if we want to see all the employees uh, where the ID is 2 and 3. So one way of doing that is <coughs> you go where ID is equal to 2 or ID is equal to 3. So this will work if if you have to only provide two values. Where is my where keyword? Okay. So what if the list is big, like you are asked to pull up the records for those employees where ID is 20, 23, 44, and 66, and of course 2 and 3, then it's going to be quite a hassle to write like this where id is equal to 44 or id is equal to 66 right so then we're going to use this in operator as a shortcut so we're going to go where id in and 2 comma 3 okay same result okay so to sql br bring the same result same logic so this uh, in operator comes handy if you have to use uh, instead of using lots of or conditions you can use just one in condition okay having said that let's apply in operator to some text based value so let's see uh, let's say we want to pull up the records for Hassan Mir and Bill Gates so one way of doing that is where name is equal to Hassan Mir or name is equal to Bill Gates okay so another way of doing that is let me write both SQL on the same page we are name in Hassan Mir comma Bill Gates now what I want to show you here is string values are always sandwiched in single quote okay that's all I want to show you here like in numbers you can go 1 comma 2 but if you're providing a string list then it has to be in single quotes so if I want to run this I'm going to highlight this and click on run button okay same result if I highlight the above statement click on run button or control enter same result okay so you have seen the use of in operator now let's take a look at not in operator okay. so what would be the scenario so let's pull up everything from employee table so let's say you want to see all the records where uh, ID is other than 2 and 3. Let's enter one more record, okay, so that it makes more sense. So insert into employee values 4, comma, Tom Cruise, okay. So Tom Cruise is also okay see these quotes are wrong my my language setting keeps on changing to Canadian instead of US so I've changed back to US okay his salary let's say 500 or because he just joined IT right so he will gradually be making more money and uh, now he's in department 30 let me highlight this control enter one row inserted okay so let's remove this highlight this and control enter now we have four records